class. In the last class, we have actually actually started our chapter one, right? Chapter one to start kora hichilo. So in chapter one, we have already discussed about what is a strategic management HRM and uh, dif, uh, different types of uh, why actually traditional HR is different from strategic HRM and some of the components from this chapter. Now, today we will start our topic from HR matrix. If you can recall in the starting of our session, I have uh, already talked about how HRM is traditional HRM is different from our strategic HRM. So, there I have mentioned that uh, previously we could not measure the performance of our HR personnels, but now we have the opportunity to uh, measure the performance of our HR team, how they are doing the job. So, previously we thought that the job of HR is to measure the performance of other employees. This is their job, but whether the HR team is properly working or not, how to measure their work. If we follow a quantitative manner, uh, each employee in organization have individual KPI or a goal. So, depending on the KPI, we can know if the employee is working or not, right. If he has achieved the KPI, that means he is working. If he could not uh, achieve the KPI, that means he is not he isn't working. So, how can we measure the performance of our HR team, whether they are working or not? They are making all the strategy, they are planning, they are motivating employee, they are hiring, they are giving training, but is it working? How can we know it? We can know it by our HR matrix. So, this is one of the tools, there are many tools nowadays, but this is one of the tools uh, by using this we can actually uh, calculate the performance of our HR team, HR personnel. So, uh, actually once happened, uh, there is example of allied manufacturing group. So, once their top manager asks the uh, HR manager of allied uh, manufacturing that you are doing everything, but the performance is not growing, company performance is not growing, employee performance is not growing. How is that? Why is that? Then they had no answer. They said, I, we are doing everything, HR team is motivating employee, giving uh, uh, incentive benefit, but I do not know where do we are going wrong. So, from there the concept of HR matrix actually came out, by which we can measure the performance of our HR team, whether they are working or not, whether their policies are working or not. So, HR matrix just like our KPI we uh, perform a uh, measure our employees performance in different variables. Some uh, in some company they give a certain uh, like target. If you sell this much of product then this is your KPI then you are a good employee. In some organizations in service oriented organization there must be must be customer satisfaction. How much good review are employees getting right. So, there can be different factors which is set set in a KPI. So, what is the KPI for the HR team? These 14 matrix, these 14 terms are the KPI for HR. If they can achieve these 14 things, if these 14 things in organization is going well, that means the HR team is working in the right direction. If you see these all terms, these are all related with our HR. <clears throat> in HR matrix, we try to identify three things, whether the HR department is working in an effective manner. Then second one is whether the person in the HR department, the employees inside the HR department, they are working in an efficient manner. And the third thing is the effectiveness of employee within the organization. If the HR team is working good, then whether the employees are, employees are aligned or not. If we see the matrix, the 14 examples, there can be uh, other matrix as well, but these are this is the standard base. First one is time to hire. So, I am talking about by HR matrix, I can actually assess the perf HR team performance, right. So, how can time to hire actually represent this thing? How, uh, how can uh, time to hire this thing actually uh, can be set as a KPI for human resource team? What do you think? 
time to hire that means when uh, the HR team is hiring someone right. So, how can this is be uh, this will be a KPI for the HR, HR team? How is this going to work actually? Can we measure any uh, can we measure their performance by this factor time to hire? Is the is is it make any sense? For say in your organization there is shortage in accounting department ok. So, you have uh, already notified the HR team that uh, we are short of people human resource we need people. The HR team gives you uh, the personnel about a about 3 months later will it work? You need human resource now, but they are giving you human resource 3 months later or you need people in HR accounting department, but they are giving recruiting people for HR department. That means time to hire right. When you need, need a peop, when you need personnel, when you need people they have to give you people at that time. Time to hire is important. You need human resource now, this is your peak season, the uh, winter is coming, you need more, more workers in the factory, but you are delaying and after 3 months you are giving uh, the worker. So, what will happen ultimately the, there will be production loss right less production less income after 3 months we do not need the people we need now because we need pro more production now that is why time to hire is important if the HR does not hire the right people in the right time it does not make any sense it is no use to the company. Kono kaza lag bana company it is no use to the company do the right time apni employee hire na karen. Then the second thing is cost per hire. Is it important factor for HR team cost per hire? How come? Cost per hire. That means uh, it is talking about cost per hire, that means related to employee recruitment hiring, right. So, what happens when uh, so much employee leaves organization in a regular basis you have to hire over and over again right. Same interview, same uh, uh, selection process, same candidates you have to give refreshment to the candidates, you have to give orientation to them right, you have to give training, uh, give training to them. So, this has cost all the things are costly right. So, uh, that is why you have to measure cost per hire, should hire kulli to chol bana, cost calculate kutta ha bana. So, cost per hire is also important. If the HRD is not hiring uh, in the right time as well as with the right cost that means company is losing money. So, they have to keep it in mind. After that early turnover there are two things see one is 12 number 12 turnover and number 3 is early turnover. What is the difference between early turnover and turnover? We know uh, uh, we know uh, about the turnover right what is turnover? not in finance in HR. Finance turnover means say a profit what he invested we are getting back uh, the with the return right. But in terms of HR what is turnover? How many employees are leaving the job? Employee turnover ok. How many employees are leaving the job? Yes. So, I am investing in employees, but they are leaving right. So, how many employees are leaving the job? It is called the turnover actually in HR human resource management. Yes. So, employee turnover. So, in turnover there are two things early turnover and turnover. Turnover we know when employees uh, leaving the job frequently, but what is early turnover? Yes, that means before ending their professional period they are leaving the job early turnover right. So, these two represent a very negative picture of the organization employees are coming they are uh, uh, they are uh, uh, 6 months or 3 months is not completing their probation period, period is has not complete, but they left the job. That means they are not happy with the organization. So, there must be some problem in the HR functioning HR team right. The HR team cannot support the employee they cannot identify what is the problem and turnover that means when too much employee leave the job each year or each quarter each uh, fiscal year actually. So, it is a negative representation of the HR team as well. So, if the HR team is doing the doing a good job 
turnover will be less. If a HR team is doing uh, not doing a suitable job, then means turnover will be more. So, by seeing the turnover, we can tell how much the HR team is efficient or not. Efficiency of the HR team it can be represented by turnover only seeing the turnover. Ta if the turnover is more that means HR team is not efficient. If the turnover is less that means HR team is working in the right direction. After that come time, time since last promotion. Time since last promotion. That means what time since last, last promotion? Sometimes it happens you got a promotion one year or uh, two years before, but now you, within two years you did not get any promotion. Again it happens you get uh, someone gets uh, promotion too frequently. These two are harmful for the organization. If you give a uh, uh, employee promotion uh, like uh, for um, with a long distance, they will be demotivated, right. So, I get a promotion two years earlier and now I am getting promotion two years after. So, I am super demotivated. After that time since last promotion giving frequently promotion. Frequently it will cost money if you are giving promotion with promotion you are giving benefit, you are giving extra salary. So, company will be losing so much money. So, time of promotion is very important when, uh, when it is time you have to give promotion not like uh, in my mind uh, I am thinking ok, I mean it is not like that. You have to make a proper strategy which employee I am going to give promotion at what time and when, why, with the reason, uh, make a proper structure and then give promotion, just do not give random promotion to keep employees motivated, ok. So, this is one factor. Then another thing is revenue per employee, how much per employee is generating revenue to the organization. So, we have to calculate that as well, right. Give take each an individual KPI of each employee and see how much they are returning to the organization. This is a job of a nature. If they cannot do this job that means their team is not effective. How much if each employee is performing then performance and potential. Performance we get it that means the current performance. What is potential? HR team has to measure both the performance and the potential of the employees. Performance that means current performance you are talking about how they are doing in the work currently. What about potential? Yes, potential it is not only uh, lacking that is why training, maybe he has good potential in the future, he is doing very good that is why you, need, you will be promoting him to the managerial level that is why you are giving him training, right. So, yes development. So, performance and potential. So, you have to not only you have to uh, evaluate the current performance of the employee, you have to see the future of them who is doing uh, good, who will get the promotion, who is not doing good, who have to uh, we have to give them more training and motivate them more. After that comes billable hours per employee. One is uh, revenue per employee that means how much revenue they are earning. Billable hours per employee, what does it mean? Billable hours relating something with bill, right, per employee. That means, how much per employee is expending cost, their cost, ok. If you are working in an organization for 8 hours, how much cost you are incurring in these 8 hours, ok. So, we have to do cost benefit analysis, right. We have to measure the profit as well as the cost. You are an excellent employee, you are an excellent employee, you are giving the highest revenue in to the company. For say each month you give 10,000 uh, 10, profit to the company, but your expenditure, expenditure is 15,000 in per month. So, what will happen? Cost benefit right loss to the company. So, we have to also evaluate the expense as well, how much per employee is expending in their working hour and also control those. After that comes our engagement rating. That means, engagement means what? Engaging in different type of activities to the organization. 
for say you are arranging a picnic uh, for the organization and the employees are very motivated and they are participating, right? You are doing a campaign for the organization. They are very motivated and engaging. Not everyone likes to participate in events, right? So this is a plus point for the employees who are actually engaging themselves in other activities. They are actually motivated. That's why they, they are giving extra time, extra effort. Those who are not motivated, they are not engaging. For say my team's, uh, team is going on a picnic, but I don't like my team, right? I don't li like my organization that much, so I think, no, I'm not going to the picnic. I rather I will spend the time with my family. But if I'm, uh, I like my environment, I like my organization, my uh, co colleagues, I'll go to the picnic, right? So this type of engagement, we can actually see by the engagement pattern if the employee is motivated or not. And it is the job of an HR to find out the problems, why they are not engaging. After that, cost of HR per employee. That means how much HR is costing for per employee. How much benefit they are giving to per employee, how much al uh, allowances they are giving to per employee, how much materials uh, they need for the job they are giving to the employee. So how much training is give, uh, they are giving to the employee, training cost, everything. So per employee costing. After that comes ratio of HR professionals to employee, it's very important. Ratio of HR professionals, that means HR team, HR person to per employee. What does it mean? Ratio of HR team and uh, uh, to per employee. Just, I'm just going to give you a simple example. For say in my class, there are 300 students. That means what? I'm responsible for looking after my 300 students. Now, for a single person, is it feasibly possible to look after each and individual problem of 300 students? No. So a standard class sizes consist of 30 to maximum 50 students. 30 is the standard, maximum it can go 50, but not beyond that. If it is so, then an individual can give full attention to each and every students, okay? So this is called HR and uh, HR ratio. That means how much one HR is giving service to how many employees. In an organization, there is a HR team consist of 10 members. Those 10 members are looking after which amount of employee. For say, uh, for per, uh, per, uh, per HR, there is, uh, under him there is 30 employees. They are looking after 30 employees. We are talking about performance and potential management, then, uh, then cost, uh, cost uh, benefit analysis, revenue analysis of per employee. That means what? We have to look into individual employees, everything. So it is not possible for a single HR to look into 5,000 employees. So in a HR team, if there is, there is 10, uh, 10 employees, if there is 10 employees, they divide it among themselves. For say, I say, okay, I'll take these 50 employees. Uh, if the, another executive will take another 50 employees. So everyone is divided. So what will happen? The work is more smooth, right? I'm looking after 50 employees. Another, it, my teammate in HR is looking at another 50 employees. So it is easy for me. Rather than giving me all the pressure, giving one person all the pressure, just like in my class. If I have less students to focus, then I can focus on individual need, individual problem, right? If I have more, more uh, students, then I cannot focus on in individual need. So what will happen? My students will be dissatisfied because I cannot cater them all. Just it, it happens to the HR as well. You give one HR to look after all the employees. How is it possible? He is a person, right? So if you just proportion it by ratio, then it's more easier. Uh, uh, it um, standard but it said that for par uh, HR it's ideal to have 30 to 50 employees. 30 to 50 employees if it's ideal. Okay, so for uh, if your organization have 5,000 employees, the, now calculate how much bigger your HR team has to be. Seriously? But. But, but apna performance ke actually up to mark hai. Can you really focus on everything? It will keep visibly possible. 
অ্যান্ড আপনি তো অফিস আওয়ারে করতেই পারবেন না আপনি যদি আপনার পার্সোনাল টাইম থেকেও দেন দেন ইট ইজ নিয়ারলি ইম্পসিবল রাইট আপনি যদি সারাদিনই কাজ করেন তারপরও পসিবল না শুধুমাত্র আপনার স্যালারি ক্যালকুলেশন করতেই তো আপনার এক সপ্তাহ লাগবে মানে যখন স্যালারি আসে দেওয়ার টাইম আসে আপনার তো এক সপ্তাহ পনেরো দিন শুধু স্যালারি ক্যালকুলেট করাই চলে যাবে তারপর আবার বেনিফিট অ্যালাউন্সেস ইনসেন্টিভ এগুলোও তো ক্যালকুলেট করতে হয় দেন প্রমোশন ট্রেনিং ওভার টাইম তো একটা পার্সনের পক্ষে এটা কীভাবে পসিবল এটাই আমি আপনাকে বললাম দ্যাটস আই এম টকিং অ্যাবাউট রাইট দে ইট ইজ নট পসিবল দ্যাটস ওয়াই ইউ নিড টু হ্যাভ আ রেশিও ওকে সো একটা টিমে জন থাকলে জন ভাগ করে নিবে যে আমার এই এমপ্লয়গুলো আমি দেখব তখন কি হবে প্রত্যেকজনের আলাদা ফাইল থাকবে ডেটাবেস থাকবে সো যখন আপনি একসাথে নিয়ে বসবেন এইচআর হেডের সামনে তার জন্য কাজটা ইজি হয়ে যাবে এইচআর হেড সবাইকে ভাগ করে দিল সে যখন নিয়ে বসবে তখন তার জন্য ইজি হয়ে গেল না সবাই তো জানে যে আমার পঞ্চাশ জন কি করছে ইজি সো ইফ জেয়ালিস আর আস আস হোয়াট দে আর ডুইং উই ক্যান সে রাইট বিকজ আই এম রেসপন্সিবল ফর ওনলি দ্য ফিফটিন স্টুডেন্ট ফিফটি স্টুডেন্টস মাই কলিগ ইজ ফর অ্যানাদার ফিফটি স্টুডেন্ট সো উই ক্যান জাস্ট সিট টুগেদার অ্যান্ড সে ওকে মাই স্টুডেন্টস আর ডুইং দিস দিস ইস আই নো এভরি ওয়ান অফ দেম পারফরমেন্স বাট ইন রিয়ালিটি নাও আই ডোন্ট মাই সিচুয়েশন ইজ কারেন্টলি লাইক ইয়র্স ইউ নো বিকজ আই হ্যাভ টু কেটার অ্যারাউন্ড এইট হান্ড্রেড টু ওয়ান থাউজেন্ড স্টুডেন্টস জাস্ট থিঙ্ক অ্যাবাউট মি ওকে I really even, even don't know many of my students and I can't remember their names as well because I uh, meet so many of my students. Those who are only regular, I know them. But others, I, uh, it's not feasibly possible for me to remember each and everybody, okay? And they, in, the, la- in, in um, the finishing of the semester, they come, okay, Miss, I'm from your class and this semester. Uh, and I was like, okay, you are in my class, I, but I didn't even see you. I didn't even know you, right? 1000 student against 1 so that's my case as well okay yes and then turnover we have already discussed and effectiveness of hr software that means if uh, the hr is properly using the software software ana to boro kotha na use to korte hobe right so proper utilization of the software is important the company is investing thousands of thousands of billions of dollar in software but the employees are not using it they don't know how to use it so how is going to work right so proper utilization of the hr software after that absenteeism that means how much our per employee is uh, like uh, reluctant from the job they are being absent from the job how much per day so if an employee is happy Uh, and l- uh, like the work environment he or she is more uh, likely to like less likely to uh, leave their job right make absent if i am happy with my environment i will try to come every day if i love my job i will try to come every day to my job but if i am not happy then i will find several reasons for not coming to the office right i mean tokhon chinta korbo okay i have 15 days uh, sick leave 15 days casual leave 15 days earned leave ashboi na আমি কিভাবে করে আমার এই পনেরো আমি পঁয়তাল্লিশ দিন ফুল এস্ট আমি হচ্ছে আমি কাটাবো অ্যান্ড আমি যদি মনে করি যে নো আই লাভ মাই অর্গানাইজেশন আই লাভ মাই পিপল অ্যান্ড আই লাভ মাই জব আমার খুব ভালো লাগে আসতে দেন আপনি দেখবেন যে আপনি অসুস্থ হলে অসুস্থ শরীর নেই আপনি চাকরিতে চলে যাবেন সো দ্যাটস দ্য রিয়ালিটি অ্যান্ড ইট রিয়েলি হ্যাপেন্স ইভেন ইট হ্যাপেন্স টু মাই মাই সেলফ অ্যাজ ওয়েল ফর মাই প্রিভিয়াস জব জবস অ্যান্ড নাও অ্যাজ ওয়েল দেয়ার ইজ হিউজ ডিফারেন্স আমি নিজেই দেখি যে এটা আমার ক্ষেত্রেও হয় মোটিভেটিং একটা ফ্যাক্টর থাকে আপনি যখন দেখবেন যে আপনার কাজ ভালো লাগে আপনার অর্গানাইজেশনে আপনার কলিগরা খুব ফ্রেন্ডলি আপনার অর্গ ইনভারমেন্টটা ভালো লাগে আপনি নিজেই মিস দিতে চাবেন না আর আপনার যখন ভালো লাগবে না তখন আপনি আসবেন না আনলেস আর আনটিল দেয়ার ইজ মানি ইফ দ্য কোম্পানি গিভ ব্যাক ইউ দ্য মানি অফ হুইচ ভ্যাকেশনস ইউ ডিডেন্ট টেক দেন উইল ওনলি অ্যাটেন্ড দ্য অর্গানাইজেশন হুইচ হ্যাপেন্স ইন ব্যাংক ব্যাংকে মানুষজন খুব মানে খুব হ্যাপি যে তা কিন্তু না they are in a lot of pressure but they don't miss the job why because they are give, uh, taking uh, they are um, given back the money je leave gula nai nai they are getting the money for that okay which leave they didn't take so that's why they don't they, they don't take uh, like leave tar to taka ta peye jacche tar je 15 din leave nilo na leave er taka ta tar peye jacche so eta onek boro ekta money hoy na that's why they do it ar je sob organization e policy nai আর এমপ্লয়ও ডিমোটিভেটেড থাকে তারা তো অর্গানাইজেশন আসেই না ভাজাটা ভাঙা খুঁজবে যে না আজকে এইটা কালকে ওইটা না থাকলেও হচ্ছে বানাবে এইটাই রিয়ালিটি সো ইট ইজ অ্যান এইচ আর জব টু মেনটেন অল অফ দিস ফ্যাক্টার্স ইফ হি ইজ ডুইং হিজ জব প্রপারলি দিস ফোরটিন ফ্যাক্টার্স দ্যাট মিন্স এইচ আর টিম ইজ ইফেক্টিভ অ্যান্ড ইফিসিয়েন্ট ইফ নট দ্যাট মিন্স দেয়ার ইজ সামথিং রং উইথ দ্য এইচ আর টিম 
এখন আপনারা বলবেন যে এইচআর টিমে যে একজন মানুষ যদি আমাকে বলে না তোগুলো কাজ করতে তাহলে কি হয় পসিবল না সো উই হ্যাভ টু মেক আ বিগার এইচআর টিম ফার্স্টে হচ্ছে এইচআর টিমেকে সাপোর্ট দিতে হবে তাহলে এইচআর টিমে কি অন্যদের সাপোর্ট দিতে পারবে দ্যাটস দ্য রিয়ালিটি ওকে আমরা তখন কি পড়লাম দ্য এইচআর ম্যাট্রিক্স রাইট হাউ উই ক্যান অ্যাসেস দ্য এইচআর পারফরমেন্স নাও আমরা যে এতক্ষণ ধরে বলে আসছি এর আগে স্লাইডও বলেছি যে উই নিড টু ইনভেস্ট অন পিপল উই নিড টু হ্যাভ আ পার্সপেকটিভ ইনভেস্টমেন্ট মেন্টালিটি ইনভেস্ট অন আওয়ার পিপল বাট হোয়াট আর দ্য ফ্যাক্টার্স হুইচ আর হুইচ কজ ব্যারিয়ার ফর দিস ইনভেস্টমেন্ট পার্সপেকটিভ হোয়াট আর দ্য ফ্যাক্টার্স দ্যাট ফর দিস ফ্যাক্টার্স উই অর্গানাইজেশন ক্যান নট অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইমপ্লাই দিস ইনভেস্টমেন্ট ওরিয়েন্টেড পার্সপেকটিভ হোয়াট আর দ্য রিজনস বিহাইন্ড ইট দ্য ফার্স্ট রিজন ইজ অফকোর্স ম্যানেজমেন্ট ভ্যালু if the top management who are the organization owner or bot member they think that investing in people is a waste of money waste of time of course the hr team will think likely right so it has to come from the top management if the top management thinks that human capital is the most important capital and we have to invest in human capital then the organization structure will be like this every manager will think okay i have to invest in my people i have to uh, train my people i have to make a uh, uh, make separate budget for my employee development which in most organizations doesn't happen actually they invest money for their product for new line but not in people then comes our attitude toward risk what is the relationship between the risk and investing in employees is there any relationship risk and investing in employees for doing every job we actually measure our we actually do our cost benefit analysis and its risk analysis right how much risky the investment is or not so do you think investing in human resources is more risky than investing in a product yes, more why because the product is a one man or no manager but they do better or less okay so if we are investing in on a product that means we are surely will get get some kind of return right but if we are investing in people there might be a, a return or might not be a return the employee may, might leave the job then what you can, what you can do you can you will sue him for leaving the job you cannot do that right so that is why risk is associated in investing people the companies who think okay who who think uh, who actually sees the bigger picture who thinks okay i will take the risk i will train my employees no matter what if they leave the job doesn't matter okay as long as they are in the organization they will perform their best then they go for investing in people but if they think okay i invest in my in my people and they are leaving the job so this is a huge risk rather than investing in people they invest in products where they are sure they will be returned okay so risk ekta boro factor the comp- je company gula beshi risk nite pare tader mon manoshikota ache budget ache tarai hocche invest ta beshi kore human resource er upore ar jader ei mon manoshikota nai mone kore je na oi taka ta ar ekta jaygay lagale bhalo hoy amar eta tara hocche risk kom nite chay tarai human resource e invest korbe na tara hocche product e notun market e invest korbe notun research korbe kintu human resource e invest kora pochondo kore na then the third factor is the nature of the skill needed by employees that means apnar kaaj ta korte kon dhoron skill dorkar ekta employee the nature of employee uh, the nature of skills needed by employees sometimes what happens in some organization skill labor is needed in some organization skill labor is not needed in factories what happens people look for cheap labor why because they don't do many technical work for sewing for operating a machine you don't need to learn much you don't have to have many knowledge or a certificate okay you don't have to have uh, just you are five pass or 10 pass it will do right class 5 or 10 completed it will do but for some job there you need specialized person for say a, a mechanical engineer a software developer so you need a special skill and everyone doesn't have the skill so it's actually depends on the nature of the job if the employees 
nature of the job is very important, very valuable, he has a special skill, he has a special knowledge, then the company will surely invest on him and try to keep the employee, try to motivate him more so that he doesn't go. But the, if the employee's job is in a nature that he doesn't require any knowledge, the, in, in market those type of uh, uh, people is available, like garments workers, right, available. If one goes, you will find another one. So they are that in, on that type of employees, company doesn't invest much, okay. So there are, depending on the job, depending on the employees and uh, employment nature, actually it depends how much the company is going to invest on the organization. And there is a theory of utilitarianism as well, which means we have to do our cost benefit analysis. It is also known as bottom line approach. Before taking any decision, any company actually does cost and benefit analysis. Most of the company think if they put uh, direct, if they uh, actually put their money in uh, any new innovation or new product line, a new market line, then there is a direct cash return possibility. But if they invest in human resource, it takes long time to return the value. You are, you are training your employee now, after 5 years, the employee will return you, return you the benefit, okay. So it takes time, but for other investment, it does not take much time. That is why most of the company prefer to invest in other type of investment rather than employee. Apna kach ke training dilo, apna executive. Senior executive hobin, apni company the loyal, agdin VP hobin, tarpur jag and agdin manager hobin. So, apna je loyalty ta, apna je kach ta, apni je atudin thro organization achin, astas the organization ke growth dikhe niye jachin. Iti kato long time er process na iti ke agdin e possible. So, eta ke apna je employee par apni invest korchin, ta ke motivation dichin, benefit dichin, allowances dichin, training dichin. To e jinish gula ke ekta time je apna kaj lagbe na apni ke ekhoni apni result pa ben na. So, oye patience ta jodi na tha ke, ta kono actually investment kora. Possible na investment positive is possible na. Apna jodi patience thake, apni jodi long term chinta koren, toh kuni ashale investment perspective is possible. See, I just told you, uh, I just discussed the example in uh, McDonald's. They actually don't invest in people at all and pay minimum a minimum wage to people, and there is high turnover. Why? Because working in McDonald's doesn't require any skills, right? If you are working in McDonald's, there is no such skills required. Just limited technique, you, uh, you know the technique, you can work with it, okay. That is why there is a huge demand for the job as well. In market, they can find uh, employees available and that is why they pay less. They do not give any motivation to employees as well. People come and go from their job and they does not mind. It is their company policy, company structure. So depending on the nature of the job, it also depends whether you want to invest or not, right. Depending on the company nature. If I am talking about Microsoft, there are all highly intelligent people working there and if one employee goes to any competitive uh, competitor company, they will take all the valuable knowledge, resources with them. So Microsoft will not allow to move any employee from their organization and that is why they take a very good care of their employee and motivate them, invest them, invest on them in different ways so that they stay in their company because they are valuable. But the workers in McDonald's, they are not that much valuable. Their work can be done, uh, this work others can do as well. So if they leave, it does not make any difference, right. So employee ka mono, taruparo depend korbe, invest korbo ki korbo na. This is an example of Google. So ekta chilo McDonald's, right, whereas high turnover, Inter, apna hoche, uh, training there hotona because employee nature chilo. But in Google, I just said technological company. So in this company, they actually do in-depth statistical analysis. They take feedback feedback from the employee why what is going wrong, why they are not motivated, and also uh, they behave accordingly. Employee kaste feedback na time to time. They take feedback from employee time to time, and then they actually improve the HR performance, improve their performance so that they can actually give better service to the employee. So this is an example of Google and there was an example of McDonald's, totally opposite organizations and totally opposite uh, like HR policy is totally opposite, right. So company nature, employee dharon, ekarar puro depend korbe, japni ashole investment approach jaben ki jaben na, shabari che jeta hobe it is not important, it will depend on your organization nature, your employee's nature. 
So that's all from today and our chapter one. Any confusion in chapter one? Okay, just try to look look at the slide when you go home. And the next class, if you face any problem in chapter four, just tell me. I'll explain it. Okay. And inshallah, in chapter uh, next class, we'll continue from our chapter two. I'm slide give you. Apna group of paben. I'm upload kore give you. Thikha chhe portal upload kore give you. Video ta pause kore give you. Shobar ki attendance dia hoye chhe.